guys gals and my near pals hey how are you if you don't know me my name is mar and we make art uh, something similar to it in this channel i hope you're doing great and today we have a little bit of a tutorial here is how i draw faces so i hope this is helpful to someone out there okay so i'm gonna divide it in between eyes nose lips and then the whole face together so well here we go first we have the eyes i've been looking for the exact words that i should be using for this okay so first of all i make these little oval shapes that are a little bit looking like up they're not horizontal and i make sure that there is a like the same distance of an eye between each eye because that's how it should be at least that's what they tell me at first so you should always keep an eye out for that because maybe you make them look too close or too far and they look weird so maybe you should just make sure that there's an equal distance between the two eyes an eye of a distance we have our oval shapes that will be the shape of our eyes. And then what I do, I just make the iris. Usually it's not touching the bottom part of the eye because I don't know, I just make eyes like that and I feel like it looks weird, but that's up to you. Then I mark the eyelid not all the way through the eye but like halfway like that and the lacrimal if that's what it's called this little part of the eye and i round it a little bit more there's always like this kind of like a shadow in the eyes that i make because i usually make my characters to have like eyeliner so I usually make like cat eye eyeliner like this. The bottom part of the eye that you can see that is pink, if that makes sense. And then the eyelashes. So I'm just gonna make them look better. I round the eye a little bit. mark the lacrimal I do the shape the iris I usually don't make pupils because my eyes are almost every time dark so you cannot see the pupils but that's up to you and how you want your character to look like so for the sake of the tutorial, we will we'll make the pupil, but that's not super important, like, here. And this part, I don't know how it's called, actually, and I couldn't find the correct term. We just call it, like, the bottom part of the eye where you can put eyeliner on i make the eyelashes that they're not all perfect separated from each other like they get crossed between each other eyelashes can look a little bit messy so don't worry about that and they come from the bottom 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 part of the eye and then we have the top eyelashes that I made it all the way through the middle of the eye. I mean, you obviously have eyelashes all the way through your eye, but I just marked them here because I like the way they look like. And since most of my characters have like eyeliner, you can not always see where they begin. Now the pupil. And a little bit of glossy 
a little bit of light in the eyes and there you have two pair of eyes usually when I draw them I make them super fast like this but it has the same principle Sometimes I don't mark the bottom part of the eye like this, but I always mark the eyelid, this part, the cat eye of the eyeliner. I make more eyeliner or this, I thicken the line of the top part of the eye. And sometimes I just leave it like this or I just paint it like this but they always have this little light on it because it brings out life to the character so like this now we go with noses noses are actually something super easy what i was thought at least it was like three circles basically a big one in the middle and two little ones on the side and that's the basic shape of your nose and then on top of it you make everything you mark the sides of the nose like this like little hyphens and the holes of the nose I mark them from all the way from the circle and I follow this shape of the big circle in the middle like this I follow this shape here and I just mark it I also mark the little part of the nose that is in the bottom and the top of the nose because I, I love making that but that's a choice of my own and then you have a nose you can put on more details like more lines to make it more defined I usually draw noses like this they're, they're super simple to make I just do this actually the little two hyphens of the side of the nose mark the bottom of the nose and the top and that's how I draw a nose usually so don't worry about it also you don't have to use the same shape I did like you cannot only use circles you can use like little triangles or more square like this is up to you, you don't have to use the same shapes, it's like personal choice, don't worry about it. I know these are a little bit basic, but I'm really hoping that it helps someone out there. Now the lips. The lips also are pretty simple, at least what I learned, as well circles. So the top lip has this small circle I make a line to define the length of the lips and in the same line that I have the top circle I make a bigger circle underneath that will be the bottoms the bottom lip and I just join the top parts and the bottom part of the circle to the sides of the lips if that makes sense I'm gonna show you like this and this same with the bottom part I mark the corner of the mouth and now going in clean here marking the corner of the mouth and now what do I do with this I make like this little like B shape or curve shape to mark the 
top lip over the bottom one. I follow the lines here. And then I make like a U shape here for the top lip. And then I just follow the lines for the bottom lip. And then we have a simple pair of lips. This is how I draw them <laughs> if I have time. But usually I have stylized my style, if that makes any sense, a lot. So my lips are like super simple. I usually make like this round shape to mark the top lip, the corner of the lips and this little line here just to mark the bottom of the lip. Some days I feel like doing the U shape on the top lip. Some days I just leave it like that and that's up to you. That's up to your own style so you don't have to worry about that. And now how do we put all of these parts together in a face? So how do I draw a head? I do a circle more or less of a circle. I draw a line alongside the middle of the face to somewhat straight lines going from the side of the circle and I curve them to make the chin of the face. And then we have the shape of a head or the shape of the head that I usually draw. You see a lot of artists, including myself, when I sketch that I make this line to mark where the eyes would be. A lot of artists use this line and they use it to put like the eyes in the middle of it. Like top eye, like that. I don't do that. And I know that may not be correct because it's not actually correct. I usually use this line and I put the eyes underneath that line. Don't ask me why. I just do. It feels more natural to me. That's the way I'm used to do it. But usually they put the eyes in the middle of this line. So what can I tell you about proportions here? When I went to drawing classes, my teacher told me that the face is basically divided in threes. These threes were somewhat equal. That's on a canon face, a base face. We are all asymmetrical, so we don't have the same shape and the same space in our faces, so don't worry about it. But you have to have this in your mind so you know that maybe if you're looking at your drawing and you think it looks weird but I don't know why maybe it's because of one of these things so hypothetically in the canon top part would be when the hair comes out here and here would be one of the sections where the eyebrows start so the forehead basically the other part would be the other part would be from the eyebrows to the bottom of the nose. And the other part would be from the bottom of the nose to the chin. I'm going to mark it with another color. So here, eyebrows would be one third. Eyebrows, bottom of the nose, another third. And bottom of the nose and the chin would be another third. That's on canon. But if you mess up with this, that's okay because it's up to you. But usually you should know that. So maybe one day you feel like your drawing is looking weird. Maybe look at the shapes. Look at the thirds. So where do I put the eyes? Where do I put the lips, the nose? So I mark them a little bit here. Usually this line that they use for the eyes or that people usually use for the eyes. I use them to mark the eyebrows mostly. Eyebrows over the line and the eyes underneath it. Remember an eye 
approximately in the middle here and the other eye comes around here. The nose, I usually, when this line, the middle line crosses the circle, I put like the bottom part of the nose here. And the lips, where do I put them? You can divide this part, like the last third here, from the bottom of the nose to the chin, in three as well. One, two, three. This isn't perfect, but it's a little bit of a guide. And here, in this section of the middle, you put the lips. Like that. With the ears, they usually are the size of the top eye from the bottom of the nose. Like this. And now I'm going to make it clean so you can understand better. Sorry for the mess. Eyes underneath this line. The eyelid. A little bit of an eye in the middle of them. The nose. The holes of the nose. Marking the bottom of the nose. The sides. And the top. The lips. Round shape for the upper lip marking the corner of the mouth and the bottom part of the lip eyebrows here where the line is ears the length is about this one the from the top of the eyes to the bottom of the nose Marking the sides of the face, chin, and well, usually here you have where the hair comes from. And ta-da! You have a face! You can add your own details like some other features like freckles i love freckles i have a few freckles that are visible only during the summer because of the sun but i love them they're so cute you can add moles you can add a birthmark you can add whatever you like and a little bit of brightness for those eyes and you have a face so this is how i draw faces and hopefully this is helpful for someone out there and well this is from view if you guys would like me to make like a side view a profile view leave it down in the comments i hope this was helpful for someone and if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications to know when i post next you can also leave a like or a comment because that really helps me. And this is my other social media if you want to follow me there. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. It makes my day and it makes me so happy. I hope I'll see you the next time. Bye!